So let's get a building. I popped most of the bits out already. I have to say, they didn't pop out so bad. Didn't pop out these. Because, um... Yeah, I'm not ready for the insanity of that yet. So, with the best instructions in the world, let's begin. Yes, see how well this goes together. It doesn't go well together too bad. Even when you consider the fact that the image you're seeing in front of you is about as good as the instructions I can see in front of me are. So, and the good thing it is foam because it can be a bit bendy and everything comes apart within a sheer moment of you actually putting it in. Maybe, maybe as an idea, this is a wild and crazy notion, if I put half of it together, the other half may hold together. You never know, this may actually work. This is a bold move on my part. That building half of this will actually work. If I can actually get it through. Yep, get it through. From the other side. Yep, I would say drum roll, but I don't have one of those to hand. Oh. Maybe working. As long as we can get these th pieces to actually slip through each other far enough to actually hold together. So I think... That's a sleigh. We can officially call that a sleigh. Pop you there for a minute. Just slightly out of shot. Time to put the reindeer together. So, we've got these lovely pieces here. Kind of looks like a chocolate bar, but obviously he's not. He's a reindeer. Let's try the same tactic. Putting half of it together and hoping the other half will hold together when we slip it together and make it a whole unit. So there's a reindeer. Next step. Next step involves googly eyes. Yep, googly eyes. Another piece of so. Googly eyes. So now it's going to be a fun endeavour to actually try, well, not just focus on these. There we go. Focus on them and actually make them make sense on the actual creation. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long to peel off. Hopefully, this doesn't take too long to peel off. Not sure how this is actually going to have to peel off. What's well, actually feeling good about this thing a moment ago, but oh, 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 almost. Yeah, we got one. So one googly eye. There. Time for second googly eye. This really is on edge of your seat stuff. Me actually peeling the um, peeling the backing paper off of said googly eye. Not quite in the right spot, but the best I can do. So two eyes. Kind of a bit weird because you've got one eye on one side and it's very odd straight on. Now the nose. These two pieces, these two weird pops pieces here. So somehow they've given us 
this, which is maybe double sided tape. I'm not entirely sure how I'll peel this because. Yep, focus. Don't focus then. Focus on my hand. It just looks like a bit of paper, which is really kind of weird. And then when I take it off camera, obviously it ends everything out of focus, but then I look at the thing under the light without blinding myself. And I can't quite. Oh! Yes, I can. I managed to peel some of it off. Yep, managed to peel that piece off. Now trying to apply it to these tiny little sphere shaped objects of whatever they're meant to be. Well, nose, that's what they're meant to be. Yep, so I managed to get it applied like this. So then somehow remove the backing that's one and put the nose on right about there for one number two will be coming in a moment which was surprisingly easy just as we refocus on Rudolph oh he fell over turn around turn around hopefully we can sort of get this in a similar location. Similar. Yep, so we got two bits of it together. So it's coming together. They're kind of not joined at the moment. So now it brings into play this. thin string of gold I'm not entirely sure how the two bits adhere to each other because the pictures hold on you can just about see if you can see on here on the last stage or even on the fifth stage you can sort of see the tape plastered there so I'm going to copy that, but first somehow I've got to wrap this round said reindeer in a fashion that it appear that it would actually hold him together. Well, at least hold him against the the um the sled. I'm not sure the best way to do this. Plus I put the Double sided somewhere and I can't see it. Oop, kind of double sided. Maybe. There's an idea. Peel it a little bit off. Stick one side down. And then hope. Sounds like a plan on my part. So stick a little piece Stick a little piece hmm. Yeah, not sure about how I'm doing this it looks like it goes quite far into the actual sleigh. If I have to, I do have emergency backup double sided tape nearby. Which, by the look of things, I'm going to have to use because I pulled off the most tiny, infeasibly small piece off of this in the world. Oh, apologies for that. So 
So there's a piece. So that's attached to one side of the sleigh. Now, have to wrap this round in such a way it doesn't seem like he's going to throttle himself. Hopefully I don't knock Rudolph over too far whilst endeavouring the placement of this second piece. I'm sure nobody's ever taken this much time to actually put this together or actually video this to actually put it on this internet. So this is a bold venture on my part. Peel the other side off so it's uh, so it's invisible. So feel I should add some extra bits round because I do have some left, teeny tiny bit left. So somehow stick this to Rudolph. Because he is going to detach, for sure. Obviously in transit, this wouldn't be safe for a flight around the world. Not sure there's really enough space in there for all the toys for all the children in the world, but... What do I know? I'm not a skilled um, logistics man like Santa. So they're on. Yep, they're on. Sort of. Doesn't look great, but hopefully. It holds it together at least 10 15 seconds. So, at this point, I'd like to say, Oh, look, job done. No, job's not quite done. So, we got to put on, we got to embellish him, cover him in the stars all over. Well, not over Rudolph, over the said chariot. So onto the embellishment. I feel the best way of doing this is to do one side at a time. Can't quite get the right angle for you to all to witness this but Yeah, now I'm beginning to realise the task in hand is to put on all these many little stars. Just so many stars. Let's see if I actually can peel one of the bigger ones and pop it onto the sleigh. It's one. Second one, put it over here. Let's go through the biggest stars because they'll be the easiest ones to put on. Let's fix the focus because it went out of focus for a moment there. Obviously too much excitement for words for the autofocus. 
one word springs to mind with this is a little bit tedious, but if this kept a kid quiet for a little bit, I'm sure people, would, some parents will be quite happy with that. Until probably their brother or sister would complain the fact that they're hogging the whole build themselves and they're not letting them actually build any of it and then they just end up trying to kill each other like brothers and sisters do. So keep going with the stars. More and more stars. Here's some actually don't come off with a backing leaving it behind. Some the star pops out and you have to peel the backing, but I particularly appreciate it when the backing stays behind. Gives me one less action to deal with, especially when these start getting really small. Yep, so when I go to work tomorrow, I'm sure I'll tell all my colleagues, so, yeah, what did you do last night? Yeah, we watched the football. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I watched... The latest episode of insert popular drama here or whatever yeah so what do you do to last night i stuck on lots of stars on a on a reindeer chariot that i got from poundland and videoed it and put it on the internet i would like to uh, probably get some funny looks but probably wouldn't but it's one of those things Oh, these are tiny. Teeny tiny little stars to put on here. I'm sure putting the universe together was easier than this, but... What do I know? So you have to just talk amongst yourselves whilst I put this together. Not sure what else I can tell you about, because obviously we're not even halfway through. Got the other side to go. So now this is a stage of where I realise, yeah, what else can I tell you whilst I'm putting this together? So, I don't know. Hmm, interesting facts I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, here's one. Um, yeah, interesting fact, possibly. Wombats, you know wombats, them funny little marsupial creatures well their poo is cuboid that's right they poo, they poo cubes if you don't believe me just google it pictures are there everywhere showing you the wonder that nature created and gave to the, the one about the ability to poo, to have little cubes of poo Seems very odd, but hey, nature can be a bit poo. No, not a bit poo, that was a bit wrong. Nature can be a bit weird. So, side one done. Side two to come. Just lift him up. See if he'll survive the um, transition to side B. Then you realise just how blank this looks. So, the other sheet, the other glorious sheet of stars, twinkling, covered in glitter, as am I. So, star number one. Yep, back to the big stars, that some just don't peel off properly and some do. In hole, leave the backing on. Try to place these out in some kind of, well, I would say regular pattern, but just some fashion. And I'm sure at this point most people have switched off, because who's going to watch a 20 minute video of putting together a um, little foam sleigh? 
sure some people will. Hey, if you got this far, thumbs up or put a comment. Yeah, but if you made it this far, you really are a star. Hmm. I somehow feel like the the much younger kid version of me may have enjoyed this for a bit, but maybe not so much. Would have much rather have been playing on my computer at home. Or anything, watching a cartoon. Yep, almost anything. Because peeling this backing off is... When you have to, that is. Because you don't have to do it every single time. Just appears to do it at random that lets you just... Some of them just pop off, some of them don't. So, what else to tell you? Before I round them out, I have random facts to tell you. I'm going to have to look them up on the internet. So, okay. Bananas. Everyone likes bananas. Well, you know the sweety flavour of bananas? Yep, you know the one. You know it doesn't taste quite the same as what you realise the actual fruit actually tastes like. It's not because it's just a fake banana taste. It's actually because that's the way bananas used to taste, because a long time ago, that whole breed, that whole variety of bananas died out. It was killed by a massive virus. But strangely, the flavour lives on in the sweets. And unfortunately, it looks like the way of things, because we've managed to... Um, Because obviously bananas are completely seedless on the inside. But, well, at least the cultivated ones that we we get in like Tesco's or Sainsbury's or wherever you shop. I know Walmart or Target or Little Aldi. Many other retailers that I don't know the names of. Yep, those ones are, will also die out. Not to put it down on it. I'd take it down off, look, stars, Wee. So, still going. A few stars to go. A few stars to go. If I actually peel them out of this little sticker thing before actually losing the plot. If I haven't done that already. Oh yeah, and just to date this video, what do you guys think of the new DuckTales? Or it could be the old DuckTales by the time you see this. Because you'll be watching this in like 2023. I'm wondering why, what am I doing in my life watching this video of this guy from 2016, peeling little stickers from this this sleigh thing he got from Poundland. Yeah, but in reality, yeah, DuckTales, woohoo. So, a couple of stars to go, and then this vision will be complete. He'll be ready to trace his path across the sky, get tracked by NORAD, and whoever else tracks Santa, whilst he delivers presents to all around the world.
Yep. <clears throat> last star, last piece. Where should I put it? I'm going to put it down here because there's nothing down here. So it's finished. Yep, that is indeed a reindeer pulling a sleigh. Not much else you can say about that, apart from that's a thing. But all in all, I have to say, a lot better than the last thing I put together. You could watch the video. I'll put a link at the end and down below. Just got to remember to do that. So yeah, not bad this thing.